Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So we do have an update that came out for Master Core. And if you're wondering what Master Core is, basically it is a way that you can escape the PlayStation 2 emulator that's running on a PlayStation 4 or a PlayStation 5 in order to run PlayStation 2 ISO images. Now, right now it's being done done over the network, but there was some improvements or talks of improvements of maybe using a USB. So fast forward to a couple of weeks ago, we had Macaulay Hudson enter the scene and Macaulay basically reproduced Master Core. Now he released this blog post, which was basically an introduction and it came with three different parts to it, very similar to what we saw over here with Seaturt, where he released the very first part, and then part two was going to be added next. So far, there isn't a part two to his series, and over on Macaulay's blog, there is only part one that's currently available here. Now, if we go into that post, we can see there is a lot of different details that's finally been revealed, such as what emulator did he use to do it, how he actually extracted the game save to finally his own utility down here. And what I decided to do in this video today was to recreate part one. Hopefully what would come out of this is that somebody that's actually a security researcher could maybe take my game save and do other things with it. Hopefully get us to the point to where we could run PS4 Homebrew on a PlayStation 5, for example. Now there is some things that you are going to need to download first if you want to recreate this on your own. Well, the first thing is, is that his application uses Python and really the application that he talks about in here also uses Python. So the very first thing that you would need to do is to head over to python.org and then just download the latest stable release. Once you download the latest stable release and install it, there is two more packages that you'll need. The first one being PYPSU, which is Macaulay's own tool that he used to create the game save. And then another one that you're going to need is called MyMC Plus as a PS2 memory card manager. And you can use this with PS2 images that are created with the PCSX2 emulator. And that brings us to the next thing that we're going to need is going to be the actual emulator itself. So I'm using the very latest stable release. And one other thing just to note, is is that you will need a PS2 BIOS. I can't discuss the BIOS in YouTube or I will get my video taken down and a strike against my channel. But if you do a search, you can find it out there. The last thing that I am going to highly recommend that you get is going to be some sort of drivers to interface with the emulation. I'm just using a PlayStation 3 controller here that is wired up and I am using these drivers Drivers. So I'll leave a link to this in case you want to use a PlayStation 3 controller, for example, once you get the emulator up and running. So let's go ahead now and let's install the emulator. Okay, so go ahead and select the normal installation here. Press next. You will have to agree to it. So just hit yes on that next screen. And then from here, I just left everything as the default and I just pressed next. I left this also as the default folder and pressed install. And now finally, we're just going to go ahead and run PCSX2. Okay, first time configuration, we're going to go down and select the next button. And you do not want to make any changes right here, so go ahead and press next. And here is where you will need a BIOS ROM. Again, I can't provide it. Once you do find one, you can refresh the list right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to select USA version 1.60 and we're going to press finish. Okay, so if you would like to use your PlayStation 3 controller with this, now would be a good time to download this package right here. And once it's downloaded, extract it, and you should see this file right here called scpdriver.exe. Go ahead and run that as an administrator. And then all that is left is to go ahead and press install. 
Now, if you want to use just the keyboard, then you can do that, but I decided not to do that, so I really can't help you much there. Now go back to wherever you installed PCSX2, and I would just go ahead and I would run that as an administrator. Okay, so you should see this once it loads up. Now you can change the configuration of the controllers by coming in here to config controllers and then plug in settings and then making the changes that you would like in here. Now I did put a check mark right here on DualShock 3 native mode and it says requires lib USB. I believe the driver automatically takes care of that. So just go ahead and place a check mark in here if you are going to use a PS3 controller. Now at this point we have used the same exact emulator as he is using and so what we need to do now is we need to boot the Okage game. Now obviously I can't tell you where to download Okage Shadow King but go ahead and get that. So you boot it by going to system, boot ISO and it will by default load in the last game as mine's doing right here. But normally you would just select your either .bin, .q file and go from there. Okay, and so again, I am using the PS3 controller here. So we're gonna go to new game here. And then the new profile that he created was with the name ABCDEF. So let's just go ahead and use that. Okay, ABCDEF and now we're gonna press okay and yes. And so now we really need to play the game quite a bit in order to get to a save point. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to play this game for a minute. I'll resume once I get to the save point. Okay, so when you first enter in his bedroom, there is an option right here to save. And I'm going to go ahead and format the memory card and at this point we can save that in file number one so up at the top it does say memory card was written and really that's all that we need the emulator for now we have a save game that we can manipulate so now we'll go to our configuration and then memory cards and now we're going to go to open in explorer and this file right here contains our save game that we're going to use to exploit the PlayStation 4 and the 5. Coming over here back at the guide, we have already created a new profile with that name and we have saved it. And so now what he is recommending is to run this command right here. First, we are going to need to install that. So let's go ahead and we'll bring up a command prompt and what we're going to do is we're basically going to come over here and we're going to run this command right here, which is pip install my MC plus. Okay, and there is pip install my MC plus and press enter. And now pip install pi PSU. And so for the game save file extraction, we're going to simply copy and paste exactly what he used in his tutorial. So it should look just like this. And there we go. We can see that right there is the Okage Shadow King save game. And again, we can see his output of it right here. Next up, we need to run this command right here, which is a way that you can save the file locally as a PSU file. So we'll go ahead and run that now. And now if we do a directory listing here, then now we have the PSU file right there. So now in the tutorial, everything matches up so far. Now we need to use PyPSU. It is a way to manage, import, and export files from a .psu file. Now if we scroll down into this just a little bit, obviously he explains all of the details, but this part of it is not ready just yet. Since we already have it installed, when we come back, we will be ready to start. We've obtained the Okage Shadow King game save file, extracted it, and built a tool to extract and import individual files. And it says in the next blog post, part two, we're gonna modify the game save profile and then create the exploit. So there you have it. We have implemented this exactly as Macaulay has done it, that it will work 
just wonderfully. And so don't forget to like and subscribe to see the next part or the next video series as soon as his blog post is updated. I think that's going to do it for this one, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!